it's I'll, I will say this it's much easier said than done but um, but there are certain things that you can do uh, when you're facing off against a player that just clearly you know, knows the map a little better than you and seems to have a little bit better shot like right now DNS pirate has done a good job of kind of slowing down the action now he's not getting a whole lot of resources here Bouye is still controlling those things but um, and th there's a nice shot but yeah he needs to back now right now he needs to run he needs to run and not do anything telegraphed that was telegraphed um, you could have anticipated where Bouye was gonna go and just judging by the the amount of time that it took uh, Bouye to disappear from that uh, grenade launcher um, pad platform yeah you can just sort of count the seconds about when Bouye is gonna be hopping around the corner of that uh, l-shaped hallway so the score is now eight to negative two DNS pirate um, right here here's a chance to grab red but um, it would have been telegraphed at that point I would say turn around go over to the plasma side of the map and grab that armor assuming it's there and then again Bouye has been running it so um, but a, a play for red would have been really easy to uh, oh that's negative three for DNS part play for red would have been really easy to to sniff out Bouye would have uh, just lined up a rail or a rocket yeah um, Usually the order that you want to try to control things are going to be something like this. Um, you want to start off trying to get yellow armors because your opponent's usually going to be focused on getting red and mega. Those are usually going to be their sort of main uh, focuses. And so um, that usually frees up at least one yellow armor on a map that can go to, you know, sort of the, the quote, weaker player, the player that doesn't have control. And uh, you just try to wrestle those away. Now, we're seeing Bouye able to control pretty much everything. Uh, the only thing that's available is the plasma yellow, I would say. One minute to go, and here it is. Zenas Pirate has a bit of armor. He's got to slow down his movement a little bit here. And um, you know, try to figure out where Bouye is and not go rushing off. I mean, I realize at this point it's sort of a pointless endeavor, but... Um, my, my personal suggestion would be, you know, whenever you start getting your ass kicked... Uh, you, you've got a you got a couple um, choices. One is you can just start running into your opponent and you won't learn anything. Um, another is you can get pissed off and rage quit, and that's why id Software actually <laughs> included a rage quit command in the game. Um, an alternative is to um, slow your game down. You know, try to see you know what what you can do against an opponent. Figure out how they move. You know, even if you're just standing still and listening to sound cues and you know, spend the rest of the map trying to figure out how to run away, that's an invaluable skill to learn. And for example, we've seen, uh, we've seen Destruct and Rafa use it to um, you know, get away from losing a game uh, you know, twice last week on King of the Hill, you know, where, where it was down to one frag and, uh, and they had lost control of the map. So, hey, TGN. I'm tempted to say, we, we have some new people on the server. Um, I want to keep this going. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm still getting people queued up, so yeah, it's all right. I, I want to keep this going until at least the new faces have a chance to play. Yeah, I have no problem with that. I mean, we'll go as late as you want to go, buddy. I can do this all night long. <laughs> In his defense, though, we did see some Euro guys come over here and do pretty good. Like, uh, I don't know if you remember this from fairly early on. Uh, Caliped from Broken. He had a nice streak going on. Alright, so we're gonna get this next King of the Hill underway. We're gonna see Jags of Fascio face off against Bouye. Let's take a look. The start from Fascio is gonna be Lightning Gun and Mega Health. A bit of Portal Yellow. Bouye is starting off with Red Armor and the Plasma side of the map's Yellow Armor. First uh, challenge is gonna be in the hallway on the way over to Rocket Launcher. And Bouye ducks around the corner to get one more shot in on Fascio as he flies off into the great orange yonder. That is ZTN. Bouye able to grab that yellow armor and the play's gonna be at Mega Health and a beautifully placed rocket landing at uh, Fascio's feet. And Bouye gonna get a pair of frags on the board. He hears the spawn behind him and he's just waiting, trying to time it. Able to grab that Mega. Bouye landing control of the items within the first minute of the map here. He's got everything. Wow. That is incredible. I mean, I, I expected Bouye to get control, but to have it within uh, 40 seconds, 
That's kind of scary. Now, okay, this is one thing I'm noticing here. Fascio is not strafe jumping. He is bunny hopping. And in Quake 3 and Quake Live, bunny hopping is a pointless, pointless endeavor. You need to learn how to strafe jump. Um, this is not Counter-Strike. This is not uh, fucking Battlefield 1942. Uh, so movement is really key here. And um, we're, we're really seeing... Yeah, yeah. Wow, Fascio just barely able to make the jump to red because he's not circle. Uh, he's not starting that jump with a circle jump. Um, and, and here, you know, the, the fact that he's 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 essentially much slower than Bouye uh, at this point. So, and there, yeah, there are the nades running in from Bouye. And here comes the nade kill. There it is. Bouye's point of view. Like my left horse? What? <laughs> Does that really say left horse? W what is left horse? Is that some kind of like uh, European insult? Can somebody help me out? I don't. And, I don't know what that meant. And what that do you have to do to this guy to suck his go. right horse? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Better side. Yeah. I don't even want to know. Just pretend like I didn't even see it. See, I pay attention to the stream for like 30 seconds when I hear that. Yeah, Bouye now is chasing down his prey. He's got 11 frag lead, make it 12, and um, I think I think at this point, um, you know, yeah, I, I really want to uh, get Bouye to start enabling handicap, but I think. See, the sad thing is that Bouye is going to look so strong against these guys, but once he has to face off against like the likes of. Uh, you know, some of the top tier guys, it's going to be just a total about face. And Bouye, honestly, okay, here's here's the problem. Bouye right now is is kicking ass and taking games, but he's not playing his hardest. Okay? In fact, while he plays Fascio without using a handicap, he is slowly cooling off. So that when he faces off against, like, TJM, who do we have on the list here that could probably challenge Bouye? Uh, everyone on the list. If we switch <laughs> over, we'll be able to challenge Bouye. All right. Well, give me an example. Give me a few examples of who's on there. Uh, Judge, Lost Cause, Dewey, Rafa, Plague, Burtox, Darko, Fatality, okay. Zero Four, TGM. Right. Okay. Those guys could be him. Yeah, TGM. I, I like how you, you stuck that in the end. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so basically, the fact that Bouye is, is playing a, a lesser skilled player, uh, but he's you know, he's just kicking him around at this point, um, means that uh, Bouye is slowly cooling off. And so by the time he faces off against uh, somebody that's a, you know, a, a better better player, he's going to be cold. And he's going to suck and he's going to get his ass handed to him. Now, if he enabled Handicap, then it would be a different story. Bouye would have to fight for every resource, just like he does when he plays against a, a more evenly matched player. It's like right now, Bouye is totally cold. He's not timing anything. He's not. I mean, he's just you know, he's just having fun. He's just shooting the shit. Clowny apparently is laughing at his poor teammate. <laughs> what the heck? Much. What? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> no, he he said it, guys. And then he just That's came. funny. Uh, that was funny. I got to admit. <laughs> 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 All right. Bouye is going to get the mega start. Clowny getting a rail but not hitting it. Oh, yes, he does hit it. And Bouye lining up the LG. Telegraph. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Bouye gets the first blood. Let's go see how Clowny recovers. Ooh. Sort of strafe jumping. It's it's messy, but it's a little bit better than his counterpart, or teammate, rather. Um, Bouye raining in rockets, dropping it on Clowny. Clowny only has 36 